From creating cursed slab blocks to the secret warden dimension, today I busted 41 Minecraft myths so that you don't have to. And some of these will definitely shock you. Everyone knows that you can't stack different types of slabs on top of each other. Apparently, if you go to the world border and make a setup like this, you can use a piston and yep, it makes a really cursed looking block. This one's true. Mangrove trees are super cool, especially because they're the only tree that can be grown underwater, right? Well, the propagule is the only thing that can actually be placed down here and works perfectly. Sapling however, get broken almost immediately. Almost immediately. If you're quick enough, you can actually grow trees down here. This definitely doesn't feel right, but hey, the game's a game. This one says that if you spawn a cat in a witch hut, it'll always be black. I've spawned about 50 of these things in here, and they're all black, so I'll say that's confirmed. All my life, I've made this huge enchanting setup with all these bookshelves, but apparently you only need 15 bookshelves in total, meaning this tiny setup works just as well as this one. And wait, it's oh. actually true? My life is a lie. There are three different types of overworld frog. Warm, cold, and temperate. But supposedly there's a four secret frog you can only get in the end. If you take two frogs and lead them to the stronghold, send them through the portal and feed them slime balls, the tadpoles will grow into super frogs! Yeah, I just made that up. They're just normal. Myth busted. This myth says you can shoot fire arrows to the bottom of a lava cauldron, but there's no way that's true. Can you even shoot below them at all? Huh, wait, I guess it is true. How did I know that? Am I stupid or something? You can use these fire arrows to light TNT, but what else does this work with? Eggs and projectiles. Do they work? Oh, yeah, they do. Snowballs would just melt, wouldn't they? Nope, that works too. Okay, there's no way the fishing rod works too. It does? That's insane! Oh, no. Have you ever been to the cinema and had your eardrums blown out by the super loud noise? Well, legend has it this was actually added to Minecraft. If you find a 2% screaming goat, it has a 1 in 4 chance of dropping the call horn. And when you blow it... I'll say that's confirmed. You can make a door with end rods that mobs can't get through. This one's weird because the end rods are thin enough for us to walk through. So why wouldn't mobs be able to? Oh, huh, I guess it works. That's strange. Maybe they see them as full blocks like they do with trap doors? Grindstones remove the enchants from items, so surely it makes sense for it to do the same for a notch apple, right? Oh, I guess not. Why would you even want to do that? Wait, what if I put an enchantment on it with an anvil and then put it in the grindstone after? There we go. I'll call that one a maybe. Speaking of golden apples, apparently there's always one single golden apple in this chest right here. And it's actually the key to a secret room in the ancient city. If you take it down here and eat it in this exact spot, this door will open. All that's inside is a bunch of redstone stuff I don't understand, but hey, it's true. And if we head back up, there's this huge abandoned portal looking thing right in the middle of the city. But have you actually seen anyone like this thing before? Here we go. It works. Let's see where it takes us. Oh, just another. Probably because this is actually just obsidian. This one's false. Apparently, you can actually make two block jumps with cactus or fire damage. You just have to time it perfectly. God, that hurt. But I did it! I've heard you can do it with a bubble column too. Oh yeah, that's way easier and much less painful. We've all felt the disappointment of not receiving rainbow wool from a jeb sheep. But apparently if you surround a wool block with eight different dice, you'll finally get it. Ugh, never mind. There's that disappointment again. My bad. But speaking of dyes, I was told that the white tulip doesn't actually give you white dye. The red, orange, and pink tulips all give you the right dye. But yeah, the white one doesn't. I absolutely love alleys and it turns out they're even better than I thought. Apparently they're so delicious immune to our attacks while holding an item. If you punch them normally, they'll just run away. But if you throw them an item, literally nothing can hurt them. These things are just so cute. But alleys aren't the only mob that can pick up items. Zombies and foxes can too. So let's try giving each of them a totem of undying and see if they can use them. Okay, zombies can, which is just terrifying. And foxes can as well. But what about alleys? I feel truly horrible doing this, but let's try it out. Oh, thank God. I wouldn't have been able to live with myself. Apparently, you can repair iron golems. If you see one or cracked up after a fight, you should be able to take some iron ingots and Right click on it. Hey, yeah, it fixes it right back up. That's super cool. I recently learned you can place beds underwater. Well, what's the point if you can't sleep in it? I mean, surely I can't hold my breath down here for eight hours. I'd. Oh. I guess I can. Okay, but obviously that doesn't work under lava. It's, what the hell, Mojang? In real life, people think coal and diamonds are both made out of the same thing. This means that if you apply enough pressure, like with a piston, you can literally turn coal into diamonds. And surprise, surprise, it doesn't work. Probably because it's not even true in real life. It's a myth there too. Double busted. It's been forever since we got a new note block sound, but apparently Mojang secretly added a new one just recently. All you have to do is place them on top of an iron block and right click them 64 times each. Then when you activate them, 
Oh, God, why? Camels look just delightful when they're walking around. <laughs> yeah. Look at their little ears. I love them. Apparently, cauldrons can totally absorb full damage. If they're filled with water, surely I won't die. Oh, okay. What if I actually try to get in the middle? Well, that, even that doesn't work. I literally fell into water. Fine. If that doesn't work, what if I try without water? It works. They even bounce you. Crazy, right? I'm just kidding. These are slime blocks. Tricked you though, didn't I? Whenever you try to run underwater, you just get put into the swimming animation. But apparently, this changes when you run on mud. Hey, it's true. I think this is because mud is just a little bit shorter than a regular block. So it should work with soul sand too, right? Oh, wait. Bubbles. Yeah. I'm not smart. Does blowing up balls give you XP? I know it gives you 100% of the resources now, but I've never dared to mine diamonds with it. Oh, yeah, it does give XP. I think I'll stick to my pickaxe, though. This just feels wrong. Apparently, you can't spawn withers in snowy biomes. Yeah, snowy tiger, frozen peaks, even snowy beaches don't work. Wait, what if you break the snow layers below? Ah, there, myth busted. It works. I should probably run away now. According to this myth, there's actually a time where looking in an enderman's eyes is a good idea. Obviously, they became aggressive when you first look at them. But from now on, whenever you look Lock eyes or freeze completely in place. I don't know what you do from here, but hey, this myth is true. Only the richest players can test this myth out. Apparently, nether stars are disappoint when you explode them. It feels so wrong to do this, but let's try it. Hey, it actually works. You can even do it with stacks of them without losing any. I bet you can even put them in item frames and oh no. This works because it would really suck if you killed a wither and the star got blown up by the final skull. But what if you were fighting it near lava? Would you still be safe? Nope. Easiest bust yet. Apparently, armor doesn't actually protect you from potions of harming. Okay, so I take six hearts without any armor. Let's try with full diamonds. Yeah, look, six hearts as well. Okay, what about with full protection? Four. Now it's just two hearts. I guess I may as well just use leather armor now. Myth confirmed. But when you've got this many nether stars, what do you even use them for? You obviously don't need this many beacons. Well, this myth says that if you use a nether star and a beacon instead of iron or emeralds, you'll actually receive double the effects. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to work. But come on, Mojang. You may as well add this for the people that are insane enough to use netherite to power their beacons. They deserve something. Even though it's easily the scariest bio in the game. It said that mobs won't spawn in the deep dark at all. I spent about five minutes flying around here and I didn't see any, so I'll just call this confirmed. Obviously, there's still one mob that can spawn here, but you can even totally disable this as well with this command. Suddenly, this place isn't so scary. One of the oldest myths in Minecraft is that sugar canes grow faster on sand. So I'm here to finally solve this debate. I've placed 25 sugar cane on every type of sand and dirt. And when I type this command, we'll be able to see exactly which group grows fastest. And see, they all grow at pretty much the same exact speed. It's just random. It doesn't even change if you grow it on cobblestone or something. Even though it does look super cursed. Consider that myth ultra busted. Look, we all know how strong the warden is, but I've heard it's so strong that it doesn't even take damage from fire. Okay, lava doesn't damage him, and neither does regular fire. What about fire enchantments? Yeah, it doesn't affect him at all. I guess it would be kind of easy if you could just dump lava on him and run away. Myth confirmed. And apparently, wardens have so much health they can survive a drop from the very top of the world all the way down to bedrock. So let's test it. Yeah, it survives. It turns out you'd have to drop the warden exactly 504 blocks to instantly kill it, which is literally impossible in a normal world. This thing is so powerful. But what if I told you this myth says cats are even more powerful? Sure, they only have literally 2% of the warden's health, but they have a special secret. No matter how far you drop them from, they won't take any damage. Apparently, this is because in real life, cats can literally fall from 200 feet up and survive. It's so much better than a dog. Hey, I didn't kill it. I'm still keeping my promise. But what about us? For some reason, landing in just an inch of water is enough to completely survive any fall. So, I mean, a watermelon is mostly water. Surely that can save me, right? Yeah, no. But berry bushes can. Right. 1.20 finally added armor customization with armor trims. But did they add the ability for our horses to get dripped with us? All right, it doesn't work with diamond. What about leather? Oh, I guess not. Looks like it does work for turtle shells, though, for extra swag for us. Sorry, horsey. Oh, and by the way, if you have a looting 255 sword and kill a screaming goat, you'll actually get a secret goat horn that plays a super special sound. Oh, wait, there's one last myth. If you don't subscribe, Wuffle meets his torturous and fiery fate. Would you look at that? Wow, you really didn't subscribe. Your loss, I guess.